According to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, hundreds of Americans are sent to the hospital with firework injuries on the 4th of July. First responders suggest you see a professional fireworks show to avoid that. Yeah, but not everyone's going to do that. And no. if you do choose to light up the sky at home, WJTV's Candace Coleman shows, shares some information to remind you to be safe. Many families will be enjoying fireworks today, and Jim Pollard with AMR says one of the most dangerous of those are these bottle rockets. He says it's because they are unpredictable in where they will go. We did a small experiment on what would happen if one of these were to hit your eye. Take a look. Whoa. According to the U.S. Fire Association, over 11,000 people are injured from fireworks each year, and nearly half of those are children. First responders say most of the injuries they see across Mississippi are to the face and hands. To avoid that, Pollard suggests wearing goggles and not lighting a firework in your hand. If a firework device doesn't explode, do not go back and try to relight it. Instead, you just wait 20 minutes, douse it with water from a good distance. That's the safe way to treat a dud. It's also important to keep fireworks away from children. Even sparklers, which seem harmless, can reach 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. We've got more tips on our website. That's WJTV.com. In Jackson, Candace Coleman, WJTV 12.